computer came. I can't do it. I'm actually going to a meeting, which is crazy. I haven't been to a meeting in, I don't know, three months. All right, it's Wednesday, but I'm gonna vlog for the rest of the, uh, the week because I do have some things going on. <laughs> Rare during quarantine. This camera's so trash. Why doesn't it focus? I'm having such a morning. I'm having some issues with my landlord which is very annoying. And I'm just like, I have to focus on that, but I also have so much work to do. But yeah, so I just had to like, I was on the phone this morning with the landlord tenant act and that sort of shit. And now I have a, what time is it? I have a call with the uncle team in a little. I'm gonna make a coffee right now. Look at this mug. I ordered this mug maybe like a month ago. It just came because it's handmade Oaxacan clay. And it is um, from Bro Brother Velez. I'll link it down below, but I love it, so pretty. I'm just having a day. I feel like every day is a day. And then I also have to show you this. I don't know, if you followed all my stories, you would know that my computer broke. And then I had my 2011 computer out, which also broke. <laughs> So this is my computer setup right now. I have a 1996 uh, <laughs> plug-in keyboard and a mouse because my keyboard is broken on my computer. That's what's wrong with it. I did order a new computer on May 29th. It is like now June something. So it's taken a while to get here, but I just want to say like computers are so fucking expensive now. Like I don't remember them. I mean, I've only bought, like I bought my last computer in 2015. So it's not like I'm buying computers all the time, but holy fuck. I feel like the price is just like so expensive now. I don't know how people will fucking afford that. I, like crazy. So yeah. And that's on t this morning. Okay, so I just got ready, put on some makeup and now I'm gonna film. I had a call this morning uh, so I'm gonna film a video. I'm filming uh, what I got this month. Uh, I think I have to pay something. Yeah, I have to pay something. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta pay a bill. <laughs> so I'm like just fully set up to film. This camera fucking sucks. I'm like fully set up to film and there's just someone power washing the street <laughs> outside. So now I have to wait until that's done. I'm so excited to move. I don't know if I've told everyone on YouTube that I'm moving, actually. Maybe I'll do that right now. I'll tell you guys about it. <sighs> okay, so pretty much, I have to go in here because I'm man's power washing. I am moving. You guys are probably like, what the fuck? You just moved. I literally just finished my place and my landlord has decided that he is selling it. So I am out of here and I was, he kind of offered me to buy it, but there's just too many things about this place that don't work with my lifestyle, including being very low to the ground and being on a really busy street. It's super loud. It's really hard to film here. And people can see into the apartment, which is like obviously not great for my safety. So I am not about that. So I'm gonna move. Yeah, if you've been following all my stories, I have been showing you guys places that I've been looking at and that's been really fun. I've been loving seeing, hearing your input. Um, my Instagram is at Oliver Shaw. And uh, so that's been super, super fun. And I guess that's really it. I'm looking for a new place and I'm looking to buy. Well, you know, I, I've actually, I've kind of gone back and forth between buying and renting. I think there are pros and cons to both depending on your lifestyle and your current situation, your finances and um, what your kind of future plans are. There's definitely pros and cons to both. I think for me right now, buying would be the best option, but I'm not gonna rush into it. And since I don't have that much time, I'm not gonna rush into moving uh, or to buying a place. I wanna be able to find a perfect place for me. And I wanted to check off all the boxes. So, you know, if it comes down to it and I have to rent again, I'm not opposed to that. Um, but I think I have rented for quite a while now, coming up on four years, I don't know, four years now. And, um, you know, I've been saving my money and uh, it, I, wanna, I wanna buy because I wanna have property here no matter kind of what um, my situation is. Like if I wanna move to another place, I still want to have property in Toronto because the city is, I mean, it might take a dip um, in the real estate market, but the city is just a growing city and you know, it is expensive, but it's just kind of gonna get, I, I think, 
more it's gonna get more expensive especially like the property value when you own so that is like my ideal situation a lot of prices have already taken a hit because it is this like weird pandemic time where no one really knows what's going on a lot of people are um, accepting lower offers which is something that you haven't seen in Toronto in a long time there's usually bidding wars and there's not a lot of people like out buying places and like looking so I can take I can use that to my advantage for sure uh, but yeah that's my situation right now I will probably my lease here is up in September so yeah we're out of here pretty soon which is very fucking annoying to be honest because I just bought all this furniture and like it's gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford a place as big as this so i'm probably gonna have to sell a lot of my furniture which is super fucking annoying but it is what it is so i'm excited i mean I, i'm i'm happy like there's again there's a lot of places there's a lot of issues with this place that i find really fucking frustrating like apartment tour well i will do an apartment tour before i leave so don't worry about that it's coming soon i'm gonna try to film it this week actually but yeah i am moving surprise <laughs> I got sent these Organica cookies. I'm not just gonna try them on camera right now because I'm kind of hungry. They're collagen cookies. This is so orange in here. Oh, whatever. Grass-fed collagen. Grass-fed collagen. What? What does that mean? Grass, what's being fed the grass? Is collagen from animals? Oh, there's three cookies in here. Ooh. Are these chocolate chip? Mm. Oh my god. I don't think I like these. There's no dairy in them. It's great. I didn't even check before eating. There's something in here, like a flavor, that I don't like in general. Mmm. Yeah, that's it. I don't like the flavor of almond. I'll happily eat an almond. But the flavor of it in things, like almond flavored things, I really don't like. All right, I'm trying this one. Double chocolate. Mm. It still tastes like a health cookie. You know, like I know this is healthy. But this one is better if you like almond flavor you might like that one but i just don't like that okay i just finished my call with sharin planning q3 q4 drops and now i'm calling my manager you are in the meeting now there are three participants in the meeting how's your landlord like oh you know it's okay so i'm taking off my makeup but i'm trying oh hello overexposed i'm trying a new product called face halo i'm sure you've heard about it it looks like this i've never used this before but i've heard a lot of people rave about it and then alana my good friend alana uh rave about it on her story so we're gonna try it out okay so i have pretty standard makeup on right now foundation concealer bronzer blush mascara and i'm wearing l'oreal telescopic mascara so i don't know if that changes anything but i got I got the, let me just confirm, the original white ones. These are non-toxic, reusable, and recyclable. So it says just add water. Um, so the water loosens your makeup, allowing face, this is not sponsored by the way. I'm just interested in this and I got these off Revolve. Okay, all right, let's do it. So I'm getting this wet. All right, so it's wet, the whole thing is wet. So I would still do my skin routine after this, obviously. This is just the makeup removing stuff, which I actually find makeup remover like the hardest thing to find for acne prone skin. Just never really goes over well for me. So just wiping off the makeup. Wow. That's honestly impressive. I didn't even use the other side. And when I rub it the other side, like nothing's coming off. That's so crazy. Like that's all that's left from 
That's insane. So we came to Tom's Dairy Freeze and this is the line. So we're not, we're not gonna do this. That's fucked up. I don't know if this popular. Good morning, it's about 9.15 and I'm um, just ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'm wearing this shirt from Frankie's, these jeans from Redone, some white heeled boots, and my Orium chain. I'm actually going to a meeting, which is crazy. I haven't been to a meeting in, I don't know, three months, but I have to go to, I'm trying to find a new accountant. So I'm going to my mom's accountant to see if they would be a good accountant for me. They have like a massive boardroom, so we're gonna do a far distance meeting. It's gonna be weird. I haven't seen people in a very long time. It's like my first time seeing my mother in literally three months, which is crazy, but this will be interesting. So yeah, let's let's go. I also wanna know you gotta do what you gotta do depending on your own government rules. Um, accountants are allowed to be open and do meetings. Again, boardroom. So we're sitting at the opposite ends of the boardroom. The whole thing is sanitized before and after you get in. Just make sure people are put, you're taking and people are taking the right precautions. My mom is literally the funniest person on the planet. Like she couldn't find my place and then she calls me like screaming, <laughs> screaming at me because it's my fault she can't find it. <laughs> so yeah, what a fun morning. Mom, if you're watching this, thank you for yelling. Say hi, are you in a bad mood? I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> okay, at the accountants now. I'm gonna have this meeting. I'll check in after, but. Obviously, I can't film this meeting. Why do I make faces like that? Okay, home now. Uh, that was a very good meeting. And now I'm, I actually have a studio book today. It's a whole thing. I haven't been out of house. It's very tiring, so I have to pack the suitcase to film. film my summer outfits video and uh, maybe some TikToks, but really nice to be able to film something not in my apartment. It was getting very difficult to film. Oh my God, I just my off. Guys, my computer came. It's on the ground. Finally, oh my God. <laughs> Thank God, my setup is insane. But I'm so hungry, so I'm actually gonna make fried rice. Um, I've never made fried rice before, and I'm not gonna look up a recipe, so <laughs> I'm just gonna make it. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten properly. Are you fucking kidding me about the pants are you? I did not eat properly today. I only had one piece of avocado toast, and then I had an acai bowl. But we have leftover rice, so. I am gonna just make it. I don't know, like I have no idea how to make it, but you know, you, you, I could look up a recipe, but I don't really feel like it. So let's wing it. All right, what do we need, what do we need? Rice vinegar? I don't know. Also, I just wanna say that I don't have anything I need. I, I just have rice and chicken. And egg. And literally no soy sauce. Okay. God. Uh, I'm gonna be back later. I can't do two things at once. A few moments later. I'm not gonna say that it's a proper fried rice. It is chicken and rice with egg made with sesame oil, soy sauce, and sriracha. It's actually pretty good, but like I should have looked up a recipe. I wanna learn how to cook. I wanna learn how to have more go-to dishes i've been cooking a lot but go-to dishes that aren't italian food i feel very comfortable cooking italian food because i grew up on it 
my mom did cooking school in Italy. That's just the food that like I grew up on. Pasta, for example, like I can whip up a new pasta, new flavors, like very easily, but I don't feel that confident in like my other, like other cultures food. But like a couple weeks ago, I was given um, Korean short ribs, or I guess I was giving short ribs, and then I wanted to do them Korean style. So I did a whole Korean dinner, which I didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize before cooking that like you actually need a lot of time to do Korean food Like you should start the day before for what I wanted to do, but I did Korean short ribs garlic Korean garlic broccoli and then I did Korean rice Which I didn't realize that when you cook white rice there was like different ways to do it based on different cultures. So That was cool. I did that and it actually tasted pretty good. It was definitely like a new It was like a first dip into doing that. So I want to try doing Korean short ribs again, giving myself enough time. But if you have any fried rice recipes that you love, please leave me a link down below. Or if your mom or dad cooks it or whatever, family cooks a mean fried rice and you have a recipe, leave it in the comments because I would love to try it. I'm going to actually work out, I think. I really, really don't want to work out, but I'm just going to try to do like 10 to 15 minutes because like I just do not feel like it. So wish me luck. minutes i'm gonna do a bit of abs and then call it a day <laughs> i just had an onboarding call we are onboarding sasha to uncle sasha works on my team but just due to everything going on my workload has <sighs> decreased a lot which sucks um but you know it is what it is so we're actually onboarding her onto uncle to pretty much be like the head of customer service which is cool and now i'm gonna open my MacBook. Well, it's gonna take a while to set up, I think, but I'm very excited. Finally have a computer. And I got the MacBook Pro. I got the 13 inch, but I like upgraded all the hardware and stuff. So it has like, oh, like the highest amount of memory, the highest amount of RAM, like all that stuff just because of what I do. And I got it in space, space gray. I'm really excited for this. Do I seem really excited? Wow, I have no idea how to use this. Very excited, so pretty. Wow, now I can get rid of that one. All right, so my computer is like set up. I'm just downloading my Adobe programs. I am gonna switch, I use Final Cut Pro. I have been using Final Cut Pro for five years now. Oh, you can't see my face. But I'm switching to Adobe. They have some really great programs, including one called Adobe Rush, which I wasn't aware about, but it's like specifically for YouTubers. Because I think Premiere Pro is like, it's just like, you know, pretty professional. So Rush is actually meant for YouTubers, so uh, Premiere Rush. Now I am <laughs> opening my external hard drive and I'm gonna, this is a really big external hard drive because it's gonna be like my main one like you know so i i'm gonna attach this to my old computer and i'm gonna take all everything off of it and then i just might be a stupid question but I, where do you recycle computers so i don't want to have these anymore and i have two so like wh where do i take it it's like obviously you just throw in the garbage it's fucked up anyway that's what i'm doing not super exciting but I do have a Botox appointment because that's allowed now. So I'm going to that at three. But I'm gonna do this uh, now. It's such a mess. I forgot my vlog camera. And we forgot masks. Nice, we got some. 
some lady just made me move the car so she could get out because she couldn't she doesn't know how to drive her car properly she was like you're blocking me i'm like this is a parking spot she's like you're blocking me i'm like but it's a parking spot so you can clearly get out she did not know how to drive a minivan i'm here at the clinic Getting Botox and potentially filler. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do. What's that music? Oh. This is crazy though, this is real life. This is what a plastic surgeon's office looks like. If you're wondering. A bird just shit in my car. <laughs> Inside of the car. Where is it? It's not even there anymore. It literally just flew past and shit in the car. Ew. Ew. This is so gross. I'm gonna throw up. I can't do it. I can't get a dog, unfortunately. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 